broadcasting from the Duke Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTL Editorial News Weekend Review. Yes, I'm um, on the set of, or by backyard that is, on the set of the reality video series Camp Nerion. Camp Nerion is one of the uh, peaks of Mount Kenya. And we got a tented camp area set up for the people. But we're trying to clean everything up. We got, we got time. We got time. Don't worry. Don't worry, viewers. Uh, we got the um, bathroom behind me set up and the chicken game. You know, they they are uh, in support. You know, now I got friends, the chicken game. You know, they on the American side. So Camp Nerian, poor American in Kenya with the next news story. Al Sabaz. You know, the terrorist group out of Somalia. They didn't like anybody to, to dictate to them or Somalia what, some, how Somalia should be. So they formed terrorist groups. So this one is the known al Sabaz terrorist group, the one who did the bombings in Uganda during the World's Cup. Here they are, they're trying to uh, set some bombs yesterday and uh, several people, several of them got killed. But just, just think about it. al Sabaz, in comparison to any other terrorist group. Now any other terrorist group because let's uh, deal with, uh, once again, the LTL way of using the hierarchy of life, okay? The hierarchy of life, economics is the top level, politics, the middle level, rebellion, the lower level. Well, rebellion, of course, uh, Consist of religion, which you know Al Sabaz is going to be Muslim or Islamic because they set it up to use a front and then they use the terrorist group, form a terrorist group out of that. So they do that, the rebellion, in order to get economics. So what they do, you have none other than fundamentalists, of course, and they develop terrorists out of that. So you know fundamentalists is uh, the ones that develop the new world, um, the new world order or law and order, but in doing it, they do it in a way to say, this is how we go. This is the new world order. Everything is a new world order. And when they do that, they want to take out everybody else. Because if they don't, it's just like the wrestling uh, WWE guys, Nexus, I like them. They say, either you're a Nexus or you're against us. And so that's how they uh, say it. They say it the same way. Now, in doing that, now you got doing the bombing in Uganda, the U.S. Attorney General, which is Eric H. Holder, he did um, said that they rounded up 14 from the U.S. 12 of them was born and raised U.S. The others came from somewhere else. Also, three Kenyans was arrested in Kenya. So, in doing that and get 
and, and setting things up it's a part that when they not making money rebellion comes around the lowest level in order to make money don't you know they could have been paid by fundamentalists they could have been paid you never know what happens in order to do some terrorism you got to get paid for it just like gangs in a, in America uh, they have drugs they have money so they 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 pay others to do some terrorism Mexico same way and uh, Brazil that incident I'll tell you about that later at the hotel so everything is setting up to where there's no comparison even the Somalian pirates out there they getting paid they go out there and uh, they, they really uh, do some hostage taking so all that means there's no comparison what Al Shabazz is doing. I'll be back with more LTL Editorial News Weekend Review coming up next.